here's some more examples on how we can write each ratio as a rate and find the unit rate. The ratio of miles to the number of hours is 434 to 7. That means we have 434 miles and 7 hours. If we want to find the rate miles per hour, here it is, 434 divided by 7 miles per hour. If we want a unit rate, we actually do the division. 434 divided by 7 is 62 miles per hour. Notice the order of the words here stays the same as in our ratio. Our ratio was miles to hours, so our unit rate has miles per hour. Same order. Order always matters with ratios and rates. Let's take a look at another problem. The ratio of the number of laps to the number of minutes is 5 to 4. 5 laps, 4 minutes. We want to write this as a rate. We have 5 fourths laps per minute. Now this is a fraction that can't be reduced to a whole number, but it still is a valid rate. Five-fourths laps per minute. Five-fourths is more than one. It's an improper fraction. And we can write this as a mixed number. One and one-fourth laps per minute. Or we can write it as a decimal. One-fourth is equivalent to 25 hundredths. One and 25 hundredths laps per minute. Here's the model we're going to put in our interactive notebooks tomorrow. The ratio, going with part B up here, is 5 to 4 laps to minutes. Our unit rate, or the value of the ratio, is 5 fourths. Our rate is 5 fourths laps per minute. And we can reduce that to 1 and a quarter laps per minute. Right. It's very important that when we're talking about the rate, we have our units in there. Okay, well there we have our um, lesson on how to write a rate. When you write a rate, you can really get two parts. You get the unit rate, which is the number, like five-fourths, and you get the rate units. That's the words, like laps per minute. It's important that when you write a rate, you have both parts. And you should be able to tell which is which. Watch the video again, bring your questions to class, answer the homework, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.